Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today Legacy Tarantulas which was missing from my Predacon lineup uh, there's also Inferno that's coming in uh, January that's when the pre-order says it's gonna arrive so I'm eagerly waiting for this one but Tarantulas was never one of my favorite characters but out of all this version either this or the Transmetal this is the one that I prefer I, I like the look of this one better than the Transmetal version and uh, he looks really good. I mean, the transformation, I have no idea if it's uh, gonna be hard or easy, uh, or if it's gonna be just the same thing as Black Arachnia. I hear that it's not the same mold. I hear it's completely different. So I'm eagerly waiting to find that out. And uh, I liked the character back then. Uh, not my favorite, but he was skeeving, you know, uh, manipulative. He was pure evil. Like he's, he was very, you know, shrouded in mystery and we never fa did find out in the cartoon why he hated the fox so much. And, but yeah, we're going to take a look at this guy and uh, see if uh, he holds up. I'm pretty sure he does because just that face sculpt, man, it looks really good. So let's take a look at this guy. Before we do so, check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel. Also check out uh, DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, fantastic online store. At the end of the video, you'll be able to get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. You won't regret it, it's a fantastic uh, store. And now let's roll the intro. All right, let's take a look at the most disloyal Predacon ever. Love uh, this figure, but first the box looks really good. Product shot, no, artwork, generation line, Transformers Legacy, some good artwork, product shot, 19 steps. I don't know why they say Predacon Tarantulas. Like, was there any other Tarantulas? Was there an Insecticon Tarantulas? I don't know. Instructions. Pause when you need them. They're pretty good. But I found the transformation more intuitive on this one. You want to compare it to Black Arachnia. Uh, this, it's not silver for the pizza cutter. It's kind of a metallic blue. And that's what I see with my colorblind eyes. This could have used a little paint. You know, maybe match the color on the hand. You know, the, that gold thing. I don't know. But the figure, wow, impressive, impressive. The head sculpt is almost perfect. Not almost, it's perfect. It's nicely painted, purple, gold, yellow, wow. Uh, the hand, this looks like um, it's not gold plastic, so it's, it's paler than gold. So I, I think it's just, you know, Pale browns plastic. I don't know. I hope it doesn't GPS. I'm pretty sure it won't. Uh, you have uh, the paint on the hands while well, the pincer is really good. The details on the chest and uh, the waist is really good. It's a little messed up here. And you have the legs who are also very detailed. Uh, the knee guard uh, legs. And then you have the foot very similar to what uh, black arachnia has uh, but bigger looks really good and then the legs I know that in the show they would face backwards so you'd have to but it's a pain to do so I like to fold them as much as I can so that they don't take away from uh, the look of the actual figure uh, articulation uh, tight ball joint at the head but it does rotate uh, you do have a 360 even with all that uh, arm cable. You have a rotation here at the uh, bottom of the shoulder. And then you have another one here, but it's kind of hindered because of the spider leg. And then you have this uh, rotation, well this, yeah, I guess rotation, but uh, you don't have uh, a movement at the pincer. 
you have a waist and it goes 360 again because of transformation the leg will do the split uh, like Johnny Cage and then you can kick up kick back and then you have that double jointed knee because of transformation and then you have a back and forth at the leg and not the leg the the heel and uh, the uh, toe uh, tilt or the ankle rocker sorry so fantastic stands pretty good uh, the cable doesn't seem to affect uh, uh, balance so that's a plus so far let's look at the alt mode but so far uh, this is fantastic let's uh, do some size comparison first let's show him up with g1 sunstreaker for no reason transform element stinger warrior who never got back to me about my two left feet and boss bot megatron and uh, i like this scale very much i mean if i put him back he's a little too big for my shot but um, i think they scale really good together and now for the transformation what you want to do is well put the legs out of the way first thing you're going to do is take unclip this move the leg and then take this up here it goes over the head like this and we're done and look at that if that's not a deadly spider i don't know what is love how they did it i think they went for a less spider accurate look like they did with uh, the kingdom line where the alt modes were more accurate than actual beast or insect i think they went with i mean i love this guy i mean the legs even have that little tip here that little crease that he had in the show when he was walking uh, so i think that's pretty amazing um, the, the legs you know they rotate all around so you can pose them if you want you can raise them i don't know let's try it i don't know if they actually hold them they would have oh yeah there you go they hold pretty good but he's uh, look at that spider eyes mold that's really freaking scary and those pincer that wow love the painting on the back predatorial it's uh, but and then the gun sticks he doesn't pegs in really well uh, but uh, he does the job so overall really really happy look at the color on this guy the paint application okay sure from the you know underneath it looks like crap you know but even then I mean, the whole system to peg the legs is way better than what they did with black arachnia uh, the uh, the arms are uh, folded tighter together the you know everything it He's solid. If I do this with him, he's not gonna fall apart like like Arachnia did. And she's still, you know, one of my favorite characters. But wow, absolutely impressed with uh, Tarantulas's alt mode. So now, let's push him on the side and do some size comparison. I'm afraid the web makes that impossible. Cat, you are, and cat, you stay. And when your energy's gone, I feast. <laughs> So here's Tarantulas with Studio Series 86 Grimlock, one of my wife's favorite figure, and Firetox 3D printed roller. You know, for fun. Black Arachnia. And it's completely different. There's no similarities between the transformation. And I mean, she. Okay, this looks like shit. The gun is really hard to clip in properly. Uh, but, uh, you know, she has a good uh, mobility of her legs. She's a Black Widow spider. He's something else and uh, it's it's uncomparable i mean this is hard to get and to tab in and you know when you push the gun the hand you see here it comes out but this is wow vast improvement i could have 15 repaints of this guy i wouldn't get tired <laughs> Final thoughts, I like the looks of this. I love those scenes where they're, you know, in that pose and shooting from the tip of their legs, uh, like a machine gun. I love it. So I'm, I'm really happy that I'm, uh, I have those two figures. 
And, uh, you know, Inferno's coming uh, soon. Well, in January, that's one of my pre-ordering. And I think that's most of the season one cast. I have to look, look it up, but yeah, I'm really happy to have Tarantulas. This, honestly, this guy right here is what I expect of Asbro every freaking time I buy a figure. This is a perfect figure. It's not my favorite character at all, but this one, of, this is one of the figure that's gonna be really hard to beat in the future. I hope Inferno is as good. I mean, I truly hope he's as good because this is a fantastic figure. Everybody, even if you're not a Beast War fan, get this guy. He's worth it. You can tell I'm really happy to have this guy. You know, I was more excited to get Studio Series 86 RC, but you know, I wasn't expecting much out of this guy and this one blew me away. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed playing with this guy. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.